Good evening everybody. It is Tuesday evening. I started the vlog uh, when I finished work earlier this afternoon because it was gorgeous and sunny and I was like, oh, that's beautiful weather to start vlogging. And then I looked in the mirror and I realised I looked like a bit of a train wreck and decided I wanted to shower. Um, and it's now much later. <laughs> so that's why the montage you shots at the beginning of this vlog are really bright and sunny and this shot is really dark. I'm gonna try and keep this intro as brief as I possibly can because I can sense that this is going to be a longer than average vlog. It's a very action-packed week this week. Slippers is not interested in it. It is my birthday tomorrow. I turn 24 tomorrow. It's a bit of a weird one. It's the first birthday where I feel a little apprehensive about getting older and it's not because 24 is old because it's not I think it's just because in my head as a teenager there are certain things that I wanted to achieve by my mid-twenties and 24 is kind of the first age where you can say you're in your mid-twenties the things that I haven't achieved yet are basically were delayed because of poor mental health essentially. So I'm kind of trying to practice some gratitude and just <laughs> pat myself on the back a bit more to celebrate the things that I have achieved. Uh, one of those things being overcoming having terrible mental health. In my late teens and early 20s, well all of my teens and early 20s, I'm definitely mentally healthier than I ever have been and I feel like it's only getting any, only getting better. So that in itself is a massive achievement that I need to remind myself of more. So yeah, it's been a lot of a lot of trying to compliment myself more because I don't do it enough, as most people don't. Lots of patting myself on the back right now. It's my birthday, I'm allowed to be nice to myself. <laughs> so I've booked the rest of this week off work. It's my first time taking annual leave. That's a strange feeling definitely made me realize how much responsibility I've accumulated since I started my job in October. Tomorrow we've not really got any plans we're just kind of gonna go out for brunch and maybe visit the new house. Chris has also booked the rest of this week off because he had some holiday left over so that's probably what we're all going to get up to tomorrow maybe get a takeaway in the evening. Thursday the day after my birthday we are going to Bath to go and see the bare naked ladies. <laughs> The Bare Naked Ladies are very much Chris's band and over lockdown they very much became the soundtrack of our lockdown. If you don't know who the Bare Naked Ladies are, they're a 90s band? I think they've been around since the 80s but most of their stuff they're most well known for came out in the 90s and their music is very contradictory to their name. They have very wholesome, sweet, positive songs. Yeah, they very much became the soundtrack of our lockdown and Chris booked tickets to go and see them in October last year uh, but they ended up moving the concert date because of Covid. We decided since it was the day after my birthday we could turn it into a little bit of a birthday trip so we're gonna go down to Bath. We're not just going to a Bare Naked Ladies concert guys. Oh no. Oh no. We, we got the VIP package. This means we get a meet and greet, a and a session and like a bunch of signed merch. It was like 50 quid more from the regular ticket. We were like, screw it, let's meet the Bare Naked Ladies, why not? So that's pretty cool. That's an exciting thing we've got going on this week. We're gonna meet the Bare Naked Ladies and go and see their show. It's gonna be awesome. It's my first post-Covid concert, um, and I'm feeling alright about it. Obviously I've got a bajillion things wrong with my throat at the moment, and one of the things that I've been doing to look after my voice is not sing. But it's okay, because I don't know the words to most of the songs, as much as I know the songs, so... I think we'll be alright. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> We're then staying the night in Bath and then the next morning we're probably going to go have a brunch somewhere and then make our way back home. Nothing really going on on the Friday and then on Saturday me and Chris are going to visit my sister at uni because her uni is next to an Ikea and the three of us are going to go on a big Ikea trip for the house. Very exciting. We do have a couple of things that we already know we want to get but then there's also a lot of things that we've not really looked at that we should probably start looking at to move in on the date that we actually want to move in. And then we're going to take my sister back from uni for the Easter break and then we're going to go out for dinner in the evening for a big birthday dinner. A belated birthday dinner for me. Yeah, 
that's this week. It's hectic. It's a big week. It's very exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. But like I said, I'm trying to keep this bit short so that I can get on with the rest of this week. So I will see you guys uh, tomorrow for my birthday. This is the only shot I'm gonna get of me building any furniture.
composed a 30 second song that changed everything. Here's the theme song to the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Everybody, it is Friday morning. It is the next day. We had a lot of fun last night. It was really good. We got to watch the sound check. It was only two of them because two of them had COVID. Um, but it was really good and they were really nice. And I think considering there were only two of them, <laughs> they, were, they were really good. Yeah, we got some some free merch. Shall I show them what we got? We got a bare naked lady's scarf. Very nice, very nice. And then we also got a tin of jelly beans in a bare naked lady's London bus. They were very tasty. That was a grape one. I like grape flavoured sweets. And then we got to come back here for a little bit before the show actually started. And yeah, we were front row. I did feel kind of bad, because like I was saying earlier, I know the songs, but I don't know the words. And because we were front row, they could almost definitely see me just kind of doing this. I sang along to the ones that I did know. And when they, when they asked for audience participation, I knew what I was doing. It was a really good night. I really enjoyed it. Now it is the following day and we have to be back early evening because Chris is going out this evening. Uh, but before we leave Bath, we thought we'd go and see, go and visit the Roman baths. You know, when in Rome. Bath in brackets. Yeah, it's one of those British tourist attractions that is like really close to home, really. That I've just never visited. But yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go to see the Roman baths before we leave. Be a nice way to start our Friday. So we're gonna go check out and go to the baths. Gotta dump all our stuff in the car first though. Bath. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning. I'm so I'm so confused about the day <laughs> at the moment. It's my first time taking annual leave since I started my job, and I'm now just really thrown about what day of the week it is. It's Saturday morning, and we are about to head out to IKEA, uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to meet my sister there and just have a nice a nice little stroll around IKEA. Which I haven't done in a very long time. It's nice to go around Ikea sometimes, isn't it? It's nice to go and you actually have a purpose of actually buying stuff. Rather than just browsing, I think. So yeah, I'm just getting my bag together. Getting myself ready to head out. And then when we get back from Ikea, we are going out for dinner. Um, for my birthday to celebrate as, as a family, we're going out for dinner. It's gonna be a really good day! It's been such a busy week and I am so tired. But it's been a good week and I've been enjoying it and the weather has been absolutely glorious. It is officially spring and the sun is shining. It is beautiful out there. We've made it to Ikea. We got very lost, but we've made it. We do have some bits we know we need to get. But then there's also some home bits that we need to get. But um, we haven't thought about cooking stuff, I'm thinking. Kitchen. We've never been to this Ikea before either. Chris has never been to Ikea period. But I've never been to this Ikea before. Where are we going? Oh, level four. And as you know, Ikea is um, a bit of a maze.
Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. It's the first day this week that I've not worn makeup because my skin is just my skin's not happy with me right now. You can't really see it because the lighting's helping. <laughs> but I've got a lot of spots right now. I'm wearing makeup all the time this week. Heavy makeup at that. It's not helpful. Not helped. It's a bit chillier today. This week's been really, really sunny and gorgeous, and this is the first day it's been cloudy and a little colder. Can I be in the vlog? Hey, hey, ma'am, look, I'm on, I'm on YouTube. Hi. We are in the new house. We are basically going to spend the afternoon setting up the furniture or attempting to set up the furniture that we got yesterday. We didn't vlog very much yesterday. I did not pick up the camera very much because I was busy. So I thought I'd compensate by doing a little IKEA haul. So we didn't really get loads. The main things that we were getting was furniture. There's a dirty mop behind me. That's a very nice view to look at, but oh well. We got a TV unit for the TV. We actually ended up getting a different one to the one we thought we were going to get. We saw the one we thought we were going to get and we did really like it, but we were just like, let's see if there's like a thinner one because we measured it out and it would fit, but this is a very small living room, as you can probably tell. <laughs> we wanted as small a one as possible that would still fit the TV and still have both shelves and drawers. And we ended up getting this one. I'll put a picture of it here. Does editing Georgia know how to do that? She'll figure it out. It's called Hauga? H-A-U-G-A. I apologize, Sweden. <laughs> it was kind of everything we needed. We just wanted it to have both shelves and drawers. So it would have like shelving space for like Chris's Xbox and stuff, but also storage in it. That was what the main thing that we wanted to get. We also wanted to get a chest of drawers. The chest of drawers we got was called Gerskin. Again, apologies, Sweden. But just a small chest of drawers. Um, I think we're going to put it in the wardrobe. It was beige, and on the website it looks like creamy, but um, it, we saw it in person. It was very brown. It was very brown. It shouldn't matter too much because I think it's, there's not going to be any room for it in the actual bedroom. And it's going to go in the wardrobe anyway. It was just a bit of a worry because my bed is white, and I didn't want that clash of colours. But if it's going in the wardrobe, it doesn't matter. Worst comes to worst, we can paint it, but that's just annoying. Annoying to do. So most of what we picked up was kitchen stuff. Um, that was the main goal. We got this. So it's a set of like, I think it's six dinner plates, six little plates, and then six bowls. And then we also, this is the, I think it's the I Ikea 365 plus range. I think that's the name of the range. But they had like, this is a set. And then they had loads of like single things that you could add onto it. So we also picked up four pasta bowls, which is the same like design, but like for pasta. Um, which took a surprisingly long time to choose. Chris was very fussy with his pasta bowls. <laughs> but we, we needed some, we needed some. So that's like all of that sorted. We also picked up a lot of kind of glass Tupperware that I want to use for like food storage in the fridge. So we got a bunch of these like little glass um, tubs of different sizes with the like bamboo uh, lids of various sizes also. Basically just food storage in the fridge. I felt like we needed some and these, these just look nice as well as being functional. We got the square ones, which were like that. We got the deep ones and the shallow ones. So we've got a bunch of different sizes and then a bunch of lids for the mold. Kind of a, a big, like, I mean, I would call it lasagna dish, but it's obviously not exclusively for lasagna. A big baking dish. I don't know. One of those. We picked up some glasses, so we picked up four of these clear ones, and then we picked the same ones up uh, in blue. So we've got four clear ones and four blue ones. Picked up a potted plant. I think I think I want to put this in our uh, bathroom. It needed to be a fake one because our bathroom doesn't have any windows. And I don't want to, you know, subject a real plant to that. So I picked up this fake one. I figure it'd be really nice in the bathroom. And bottle opener. But obviously. Heating rack? I, again, I don't know what this is called. The, a, a rack you put 
hot trays on to stop from burning your work surface. Oh, this is my favorite thing we picked up, I think. That wasn't furniture. I got a colander. I don't know why this excited me so much. But it's a really pretty god. <laughs> so I think the only thing missing really from our kitchen now is pans. So we've got a pot set. It's still in its box, which is why I didn't show it earlier. But we've got a set of pots. Um, we just need a set of pans. We couldn't find any pans that we liked. But yeah, that's our little Ikea haul. Oh, and we also picked up some dye. Because we're at Ikea. And this reminds me I've not had lunch yet. Wi-Fi's been set up. We're in the house. We're going to spend the rest of the afternoon setting up furniture before going back to Christmas to watch the F1. It's been a very hectic week. It's been a really busy week. I really don't know how much of this vlog I really... I was really captured it. I've tried not to make it too long. Uh, but that means there's a lot of montages. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this weekly vlogging business after daily vlogging for so long. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. I'm going to unpack what we've got and then I'm going to edit this vlog uh, while Chris sets up the unit and I watch supportingly pretending to help. <laughs> Love you. Oh! Well, one last thing. We got a rug. I'll see if I can get a picture of it up on the screen because it's obviously rolled up right now. But um, we've also got a rug. This has been a really crazy week, but it's been really fun. I'm exhausted. But it was a great week. And next week is going to be the week where all the packing happens because hopefully next weekend we'll be in. Hopefully. As long as nothing goes horribly wrong. Thank you very much for watching this sweet vlog, everybody. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!